Uh, hello everyone. So in this session we will discuss about the introduction of uh, process synchronization. So what do you mean by what exactly is a process synchronization? So we have we have already seen uh, what's a process. So a process is nothing but a program in execution is simply termed as a process. Process synchronization. Synchronization means what? So synchronizing the process of synchronizing or the process of managing different processes in order to avoid conflict between them is simply called as process synchronization. If you see uh, what the author is telling is process synchronization is nothing but it's the task of it is the task of coordinating the execution of processes in the way that no two process can have access to the same shared data. Okay, means. So no two process should have access to the same shared data. For example, if you are using printer, okay. So if a printer is connected to a system, okay. So if we give print out, if we give print option from that uh, system, you will get the print out from the corresponding printer. Suppose if there is same printer, suppose this is a printer. And this is system one, okay, computer one, and this is this is computer two, okay. So if this printer is connected to both the computers, and if we give print option both at a time, we have given twenty pages print from this computer. We have given twenty pages print from this computer both at a time. Okay, so what the author is telling is, so uh, synchronization should be done. Okay, Synchroni synchronization has to take place. So here, what the author is telling is, if uh, uh, if two process, so what the author is telling is, no two process should access the shared data at a time. Okay, so in order to avoid that, the process synchronization is required. Okay. So here what the author is telling is this process synchronization is uh, mainly required uh, during multi-processing or multi-process when, when multi-processes were involved at the time this uh, synchronization is useful. Okay. So what is the need of a process synchronization? We have discussed if if anything goes wrong, the race condition will occur. Okay. What is race condition? Race condition is nothing but if two or more processes are executing concurrently. And the processor are working on the same resource, then it may lead to race condition. Okay, that is nothing but I will tell you a simple example. So, for example, for example, if you take, uh, let us suppose this is the data. Okay, let us suppose this is process one. Okay, here we have process two. Process 1 is writing some data. Process 1 is writing some information into this data. Means this data is being modified. Yes or no? This data is being modified. Yes or no? See, process P1 is performing the write operation. Means it is writing some data. It is writing or it is inserting some new information or new data into this file. Whereas process P2, it is reading, it is reading the data from this file. Hope you are understand. Process P1 is performing write operation. Means write operation means we are going to insert some new data or we are going to modify some existing data. Okay. Whereas process P2 is reading that data. Okay, definitely the process P2 will get incorrect data or error data. Okay, okay. And here now when this happens, every process will run telling that uh, our information is correct or our data is correct or we are correct. Like that it will run like the race. That's why it was named after uh, race condition. Okay. So the above race condition problem can be avoided by using process synchronization. So here the author is telling that process synchronization is nothing but it is uh, it is called uh, mutual coordination. Mutual coordination. Okay, first you go, then I will go like that. 
Suppose if there is a suppose in a room, suppose if you, take, if you consider a hostel, in a hostel if there are uh, individual rooms and in each room if there is attached to bathroom, let us suppose there are three members, three students in a room and single washroom. Okay. Suppose if all the three rush towards at the same time, then then nothing will happen. Okay. Nobody can execute the process successfully. So that's why. So they have to tell, yes, first you go. If three are ready, okay, first you go. So next I will go. Next the third person will go. Like that, the mutual coordination is required. That's what the other is telling. Mutual coordination is required. So if there is mutual coordination, we call it as process synchronization. There is synchronization among processes. Means there is some understanding about the process. Okay. So if it is missing, if there is no proper coordination or if there is no proper synchronization, then it leads to race condition. So, so here what the other is telling is, so normally the process synchronization is of two modes. One is serial mode and the other is parallel mode. You know what is serial mode? Serial mode means the process of executing the instructions sequentially, one by one, one after the other. The process of executing the instructions one by one. If we have 10 instructions, suppose 1, 2, 3 and so on to 10. First this will be executed, next this, next this, next this, like that. The process of executing the instructions sequentially or serially or one after the other is simply called as serial mode. Next seven to parallel mode. Parallel mode is nothing but parallel mode. The process of executing two or more. The process of executing two or more process simultaneously or parallelly. Okay, that comes under parallel mode. Okay, so, <clears throat> so under parallel mode, again we have, again we have two varieties. They are nothing but independent process and cooperative process. Again under parallel mode, again we have two varieties. Independent process and uh, cooperative process. Okay, we will see independent process. Independent process is nothing but when we execute a particular process, if it is not going to affect any other process, then we call it as independent process. Suppose this is process P1, process P2 and so on. If we have n number of process, let us suppose we have n number of process, namely P1, P2, P3 and so on to Pn. If we are going to execute process P1, if it is not going to affect any other process, we call it as independent process. Okay, independent process is nothing but the execution of a process does not affect the execution of other process. That is independent process. Then we have cooperative process. Cooperative process is nothing but vice versa. The execution of one process may affect the execution of some other process. Okay. Those were simply called as cooperative process. So uh, the process synchronization is required here because the problem may arise here. The problem may arise uh, in parallel mode and that too in parallel mode in cooperative process. Right? Because in, in independent process there won't be any problem. In cooperative process the problem may arise. Right? Because the execution of one process may affect the execution of another process. Example. IRCTC or online reservation. Online reservation for uh, uh, bus ticket booking or train ticket booking or flight ticket booking or movie ticket booking, anything. For example, what the other is telling is, suppose, uh, suppose if you are uh, booking seats in a bus, so like this we will have one, like this we will have. Suppose if, if there are a number of process P1, P2, P3, P4, if there are four different uh, users working on four different systems or four processes for that. Okay. Suppose here no, initially when they when, let us suppose these four processes were started at the same time. Suppose when you open no, it shows 20 available seats. For this also 20 available seats. For this also 20 available seats, 20. Let us assume all these four processes were started processing at the same time. Okay, by using different systems in different areas. So, so all these were, uh, yes, when they opened, no, 
the available seats are 20. Okay, suppose, let us suppose P1 has booked the ticket. Okay, P1 has confirmed the ticket. So now what the P2 will get? So here the waiting list will be 19. This also 19. This also 19. Like that, like that. So suppose if there are only four seats or if there are only two seats available. Okay, let us suppose if there are only two seats available and if P1 puts one seat, so the remaining will be so one seat, one seat, one seat. Out of P2, P3, P4, only one person will get uh, uh, the opportunity to travel in that bus. Yes or no? That's why the execution of one process may affect the execution of another process that is uh, cooperative process. These are the examples. Okay. So, <clears throat> see. So here we have process synchronization. So the process synchronization problem arises in the cooperative process. In the case of cooperative process, we have discussed. So in parallel mode, again in parallel mode, in cooperative process. Because there is no problem in independent process. The problem will arise in cooperative process. So in cooperative process, all the resources are shared. Because the problem is all the resources are shared in the cooperative process. So there is a chance that two or more process may share the same resources at a time. Okay, there it leads to it leads to problem and it leads to race condition. Okay, see here. Uh, process here changing the data in the memory location. So let us suppose, as we have already discussed, this is memory location. Okay, this is memory location. Okay. Process A is changing the data means process A. This is process A. Process A is performing some write operation. As we have discussed, process A changing the data in the memory location while another process B is trying to read the data. This is process B. Okay, this is process B and it is uh, trying to perform read operation. So, process A is writing some data. Writing means it is inserting some new information or it is, it is uh, modifying the existing data. Whereas, process B is reading the data from the memory location. So, what happens? There is a high probability that data read by the second process, means this one, will be erroneous. Why? Because Whatever it has read, okay, process B might have read whatever the data existing in this memory location. But unfortunately, uh, when, when this uh, read, or read operation is taking place, at the time the process here might have modified or uh, it might have inserted some new data or it might have modified the existing data. So that's why whatever the read operation process B has performed, there is a chance that there is a high probability that it could be erroneous data or it could be incorrect data or it could be an error data, right? So this is what is uh, process synchronization. So we will see what is a race condition because we have discussed you know, race condition. See, uh, when more than one processor executing the same code or accessing the same memory, shared uh, variable in that condition, there is a probability that the output of the value of the shared variable is wrong. So for, so for that all the process doing the race to say that whatever they have got is correct. See, the same what we have discussed here, the same, again we will discuss. Let us suppose, this is, this is the memory location, okay, so here, process P1 is performing some write operation, okay, whereas process 2 is performing some read operation. After some time, process P3 has performed some read operation, okay, P4 has performed some read operation, okay. So all the process, see, here process P1 is performing some write operation, okay. Before completion of this write operation, process 2 might have performed some read operation. After that, before completion of this process P1, P3 and P4 also might have performed some read operation. And unfortunately, everybody rushed towards that saying that, what are, so definitely whatever the data, so existing here will vary from 
the data retrieved by P2 and the data retrieved by P3 and data retrieved by P4. So the the variation will be there. Okay, the data differs. So everybody will, will rush towards the towards saying that whatever the data they have is correct. See, all the process doing the race to say that my output is correct. This condition is known as race condition. Okay. So in order to so here the race condition may uh, the race condition may occur inside the critical section. So this is what the, the race condition. Everybody rush towards the thing saying that my output is correct like that. Okay. So with this we will uh, wind up this session. Okay. Thank you.